Hello there my fellow YouTubers, this is Simply Tutorials, where the tutorials are simple. And in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take your character from Fuse, which is the program I have open now, and export it to Source Filmmaker. For those of you who don't know what Source Filmmaker is, you really don't need to be watching this video. <laughs> um, but if you want to export it to Gary's Mod, stay tuned. Now that we're back and we got the model open that we want to export, which I'll make a video, just check the links in the description for a video on how to make your own model. It's actually very simple, but that's what I do is make simple tutorials for the simple man. But once we got our model created, you know, and it's fine tuned the way we like, which I made a fem scale, I'm going to go to animate and make sure that you have a Maximo account which is Adobe ID so you click register if you don't have one we're gonna click upload because I already made one and it's going to export it to a temporary file because I didn't save it I just slapped this character together for this tutorial even though if I don't say so if I do say so for myself it looks like a pretty good film scale but a serious matter, um, Maximo, Mixamo, uh, they're free at this moment uh, as of December 29th, 2015. I don't know how much longer they're going to be free because they just did something with Adobe. I'm not quite sure what they did. I don't know if they merged or I know they use Adobe um, ID sign-ins. So when you make an account, it would be an Adobe ID. So, that, and I don't know what their pricing is going to be later on down the road, but I know right now it is free. So, I'll have links in the description for everything so you can snatch it up, you know, go ahead and do what you got to do. You know, it's very simple, very easy, and it's free. So, and I, that's like, I love to work free. Anywho, it's auto rigging at the moment, and I'm going to pause it and unpause it when the auto rigging is complete. So, Okay, like always, the auto rigging completed right after I hit pause. And it isn't a freaking CPU thing, you know, like, oh, you just took processes off and it had more processes to use. No. But anywho, enough of that. We got our facial blend shapes, which I'm going to leave disabled. And we got our skeleton level of detail at 65, the highest it can go. And we're going to hit finish. And if you notice that it basically, a uh, rundown of it, it says the auto rigging is complete. And if it can, if your program can support FBX, then this will work for your program. Whether it be Unity, Unreal, 3D Max, Blender, Source Filmmaker, which it exports um, MDLs to Source Filmmaker and DMX. So, not the wrapper DMX. <laughs> Um, and not the light control DMX either. Uh, you got Gary's Mod, Second Life, and Dota, and all that stuff. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click View in My Assets, or we can click Animate. I'm going to show you um, what the animation does. So, we're going to open that up. And then I'm going to go back to My Assets and show you what it looks like, um, how we're going to get it to go to Source Filmmaker. But you got many stuff, uh, many um, animations to pick from, like running. Um, what I did here is I just locked the camera, so it's all on the person. You got the female standing pose, which anybody who does any kind of rigging or animation, the T pose is the best. So let's go T P O S E. Okay, and then we're going to click Add to My Assets. Okay, it says it's been added. Let's go to My Assets. Ooh, it's processing, which is one of these Fuse models that I've made. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one. It's the same thing. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll take a gamble and say it's this one. 
Nope, that's my dude that I made. Okay, there she is right there, Femscale. And we're going to click Quarry Download. And we're going to click right here. And you'll notice you got Garry's Mod Ragdoll and Garry's Mod Filmmaker Export. I mean, not Gary's Mod, but Source Filmmaker <laughs> Export. But let's go ahead and click on that. We're going to click the um, T Pose and click Quarry Download. And it's going to quarry the download. And it's processing. Okay, and we're back. The processing just finished. It took a lot longer than I expected, so. Let's put it this way, I was able to play three matches of Call of Duty. <laughs> but um I think the servers were extremely busy, but they did finish, so um let's go ahead and download it. Hit the download button. We're gonna open it. Minimize that. And we're going to open the folder right here. And we're gonna go to game, user mod. And models and materials is what we're interested in. So we're going to open up our uh, where Steam is, where we have our Source Filmmaker at. We're going to go to E, which for me it's E, Steam. Um, everything after Steam should be the same for y'all. So Steam apps, common, um, Source Filmmaker. Where's Source Filmmaker there? Click on game. Ooh, user mod and we are going to drag these two right here we're going to copy these and we're going to paste them right here paste okay they're in the models now we can exit this and open up source filmmaker which shouldn't take but a second there it goes Okay, we're going to go um, call it test 3, create. Okay, now we got Source Filmmaker open. We're going to load a map, which we're going to... Yours probably look like this if you've never opened it before. But we're going to type it stage. You should have this one by default. We're going to go regular stage. You can pick either one. Any map, really, it doesn't matter. And we're waiting for it to load up. Okay. Now, as you see, it's loaded up pretty good. Where is that? Oh, that's not on top anymore. It won't stay on top. Okay, there we go. Make sure that's on top so I can see what I'm doing as far as recording. Okay, now we got the stage loaded. Let's go into the little circle. And we're going to type, uh, click this little plus button right here. And click create an animation set for new model. And we're going to look the first character. There's a couple of characters I've made. Nope, not that one. Right here. So we're going to click open. And as you see, our character is right there. And you can do whatever it is you want to it. I'm going to make a tutorial in the future. Like render settings. Ambient occlusion. That way we get rid of all that diffusey, grainy look on the player. The character uh, skin. But that's it. You know, if you want to do it in Gary's mod. We're going to continue without saving. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. Um, let's go back to Firefox. Um right here open that back up again because I did close it out we got um under user mod models and materials the same thing you just go to e steam apps common a Gary's mod um, Gary's mod models and materials you paste it in there as the same 
Boom. And it's in Gary's Mod. Now, you, I've never actually done this for Gary's Mod, but um, they say on the Fuse, I mean, not the Fuse website, but the, um, this website right here, the Ma Mixamo website, they say, oh, it's the same thing. So it worked for Source Filmmaker. I imagine it will work just as easy for Gary's Mod. Um, if it doesn't work for you in Gary's Mod, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I answer all my comments. Um, the more the channel grows, the harder it's going to be. But right now, I will answer all my comments. Um, well, I'm going to try to answer all of them, period. But you know how rough that gets. Um, and I will make a video for that. Um, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my other tutorials, there's a comment section for their respective videos. Or you can just drop me a comment in any video. It don't matter. Um, like I said, I'm going to be reading them all, or trying to, anyways. And um, shortly after I get done with this one, I'm going to show you how to make some really cool characters and what you can do within the Fuse editor itself. So be sure to check the description for that link. Um, I might put an annotation up here. I might not. It depends on how I feel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was simple enough. If it wasn't simple enough, give me a thumbs down because this is simply tutorials and the objective is to be as simple as possible, as fast as possible. Um, so give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, you know, whichever you feel. Um, be sure to leave a comment, even if you're just saying hey or for keep up the good work or you're doing a really crappy job. Or, uh, why do I even bother watching your videos when they suck anyways? You know, I don't care. You know, I take the good with the bad. Um, hope to see you in the next video, and that's all I have for right now.